writing projects do not have to be disorganized disasters. No matter how you like to write, be that pen and paper, Google Docs, Scrivener, or something else, you can make every note and chapter easy to find and reference. First drafts and editing are messy enough processes, so I'm going to show you how to get your writing in order and organized so that you can focus on what's actually important to writers. Writing. First I'll go over some more broad organization, then I'll get into more details on specific writing tools like notebooks, Scrivener, or Google Docs. Some people might think that coffee and tea are a writer's best friends, but personally I think it's folders and labels. Digital or paper, either way, folders are, in my opinion, our best defense against disorganized writing projects. And of course, it never hurts to color code. Personally, my biggest organizational problem is when I get a little bit lazy and let my brainstorming pages turn into really messy wikis. So then you've got one big document with a bunch of stream of consciousness notes mixed in with a whole bunch of plot details that you actually want to use. And then you take the highlighter and try and highlight things in different colors to organize them. And it turns into a big rainbow color disaster really quickly. <laughs> no matter if you are a pantser, outliner, or fall somewhere in between, it is extremely helpful to start a story bible before you even begin your project. This way, as you're going, whether you are outlining or drafting or even editing, it is easier to take the pieces that you need and drop them into the appropriate folders so that you can reference them later on and actually find them when you need to reference them later on. Now, all you really need, in my opinion, is characters, world building, and then plot. Once you have that, you can kind of organize and separate based on your individual project's needs. So if you're going to do only one organizational thing for your writing projects, I would say do this, and that is to centralize. Basically, just don't keep the same thing in multiple places. If you've got more than one version of something, make sure you label it version 1 and version 2, and go ahead and put them in the same folder together. Of course, if it's possible, always merge two versions of something together, but sometimes we need multiple versions of things. So scrounge up all of your scratch notes and make sure they're all in one folder together, and take all of your little bits of character info and backstory and put them all in one folder as well, but divided by the individual character. So of course the best time to get organized is before you even start your project. If you can set up an organizational process when you only have a little bit of content, it is going to make it way easier down the road and you're going to save yourself a lot of headache trying to organize a mess. That being said, you can always give the gift of organization to your future self whenever you like as long as you're willing to take a little bit of time and organize the mess before you add to it. So I've broken the rest of this down into three main types of writers, but obviously people are probably going to be a mix of most of these. Programs like Scrivener and Ulysses make it pretty easy to keep your writing projects organized as they are designed to be an all-in-one program. You can easily keep your story bible, your character info, and your drafts and your notes all together in one place. And it's usually pretty simple to set up as they already have these organizational systems in place. So here's a quick look at how I personally organize my Scrivener projects right now, but it's a pretty standard setup. This is the project for my work in progress light sci fantasy series titled Astral Relics. In the main draft folder, I have a different subfolder for each of the books in the series that I'm planning. So each book has its own file and a place for each scene and a place for notes for each scene. The notebook section, surprise surprise, has all of my notes which are organized by topic. And in here I also have my series outline and my writing log. And then the series bible folder has more subfolders for characters and world building, and everything has its own page for easy navigation. So multi-program writers are going to be writers who use things like Google Docs, Microsoft Word, OneNote, and Notion. Usually you'll see a combination using one for notes and story and world building info, and the other for just drafting. While not quite as simple as a all-in-one program, this offers a lot of flexibility that many writers enjoy. I used only Microsoft Word for multiple projects, so here's an example of how I used to organize this way, but the same setup in Google Docs. So you'll likely use two or three documents, one with your notebook info, so all of your notes, characters, and world building, and the other strictly for your draft. This is super simple, you just use the different headings to mark each section, and then they'll pop up in the outline navigation over here for easy navigating. And you may want a third separate document for your outline if you go really detailed with your outline. So this document here is organized basically the same way as my Scrivener is, and it is still very easy to navigate. And then here in another document, you can see how you would have your actual draft set up. And this is actually a little sample from my recently published new adult fantasy adventure, Revenge of the Druid Queen. Now that Notion and similar programs are so popular, many writers find them very easy to use and prefer those for their notes and story bible information. But if something like Word and Google Docs is more your speed, then this is a really easy way to set it up. And of course, we can't forget about good old-fashioned pen and paper. Most of these same concepts apply, but just in different mediums. For your next project, you can try starting out with a ringed binder instead. This way, you can really easily shuffle and reorganize your pages and keep all of your different concepts together, like your notes and your outlining info. If you really prefer traditional binding, then try using multiple different notebooks for different topics so that you can kind of pre-section the pages out 
for your world building info, your character info, your outline info. This limits the possibility of needing multiple sections throughout one notebook. Like you don't want to have some character info in the front of the notebook with a tab and then some character info in the back of the notebook with a tab and use the crap out of color-coded flags. <laughs> if you're a fan of new adult fantasy adventure stories, then I have recently published Revenge of the Druid Queen. This is a fantasy adventure with lots of sarcasm, battling the undead, magic, and a no-spice romantic subplot. All right, that's all I got for you, so thanks for watching. Bye!